Just fight a little longer, my friend It's all worth it in the end But when you got nobody to turn to Raise your hand if you have participated in the training to support someone in a mental health crisis. Now raise your hand if you know first aid or CPR. For those of you who didn't raise your hand, I imagine you'd be willing to respond in an emergency medical situation if needed. And you'd be in good company. 75% of Canadians feel they would know what to do in an emergency medical situation without any training. And yet, you are more likely to encounter someone needing support in a mental health crisis than someone needing CPR. In fact, 4.5 million Canadians have had thoughts of suicide at some point in their life. Despite this fact, only 6% of Canadians have participated in a suicide alertness training, and few would feel confident supporting someone in a mental health crisis. I want to tell you a story about Melanie. Melanie grew up in this community which she still calls home. She and her partner have two children, a teenage boy and girl. Aside from what Melanie would call typical teenager moments, she would describe her children as healthy and happy. Recently, her son came home and opened up that he's been struggling with thoughts of suicide. Melanie feels at a loss. Did she miss the warning signs? Where can she find more information? How can she support him in this conversation? For over 25 years, the Waterloo Region Suicide Prevention Council has been focused on increasing suicide awareness and supporting suicide prevention through education. The work that we refer to as hope, help, and healing. Last year, with only three staff, we delivered 182 presentations to 4,400 community members and funded 558 learning hours in suicide prevention awareness and intervention training, which means that more individuals in the community have the practical tools and skills to identify signs that someone might be thinking about suicide and where to connect them to suicide first aid resources. Currently, we are reliant on small external spaces within the community to support our work. If we had the space and funding, we could do so much more. To be able to continue our mission of reducing suicide and its impact, I'm asking you to support our search for a permanent space that would feel more safe and welcoming to learn in. We are looking for a multi-room space located in Kitchener-Waterloo to provide awareness and training, a space where we can expand our reach. We'd also love you to consider a monthly gift to support us in providing more education and training. $55 is the cost to train one individual, and if each of you donated tonight, we could connect with workplaces, sports teams, community clubs, the possibilities would be limitless. This is our time to be the change, to ensure that 75% of Canadians are equipped to manage both physical health emergencies and mental health crises. Together, we have an opportunity to make an impact to ensure that individuals like Melanie and her son have access to timely suicide prevention resources and information. You can be the change. Thank you.